what you doing, girl, with all that? slaying it with Ray and today I have y'all in my kitchen because we're going to be slaying it in the kitchen so first I wanted to say Merry Christmas to everyone because I am recording this on Christmas and I am making my Christmas dinner but I really wanted to share my slap your mama slap your man slap yourself slap whoever my slap your man greens i'm gonna say slap your man but if if you a man watching this then slap somebody slap somebody greens okay so um these greens are always a hit i just made them thanksgiving my family loved them let's get into it with these greens so for my ingredients i have chicken stock which is going to give your greens flavor okay instead of water i like to use chicken stock okay we're going to add some sugar we have complete seasoning, we have vinegar, crushed red peppers, chicken bouillon, which is going to give them flavor. Okay, slap your mama, I have my black pepper and salt. And then for my meat, my choice of meat, I love to use bacon. But this is bacon ends and pieces. Normally, I like to use pork jaw bacon, but here in Virginia, I was having a hard time finding the pork jaw bacon. But I did find the pork ends, um, the bacon ends and pieces. And then, of course, my onions. And then I have my rinsed greens. And now we're going to take it to the pot and show y'all how I get it started. Okay, so I'm just going to start off with my pork jaw bacon. I'm just going to put that in. And what I'm going to do is just let this get um, brown. So I'm just going to cook this down a little bit and then I'm going to add in my onions as well. So I'm just going to brown these. So now I'm going to add in my onions. I just want to make sure my ends are broken up really good because I hate when they're stuck together. Okay, so what I like to do is, um, like I said, just brown these first before I put anything in. And once I feel like they're good and brown, I'm going to turn my heat down. Right now I have it at like a medium, a medium kind of high heat. It's at like a 7-8. Just to get the flavor. This is going to get the flavor going right here with your onions and your meat. Now, I personally prefer to use, like I said, I prefer to use the pork jaw bacon. But I like... Um, I guess just the bacon flavor because I like the flavor that it brings to my greens. Um, if you like to use like the neck bones or anything like that, feel free to do that. But I just prefer to use anything with like a bacony flavor to it. So I'm just going to let these saute some. And it smells so good right now. And y'all, this, this recipe is so affordable. You're not going to be breaking the bank just gonna be smack as me and my sister say smack let's smack it you smack all right so this is browned enough so now I'm just gonna cut my heat down and I'm gonna bring it to about a five okay and I'm gonna go ahead and add in my green And what I've realized, what I have to do, because my, my um, pot is not really that big. So I'm going to have to, um, I add half of the bag first, let it cook down a little bit, and then I add the other half. So this is half of the bag, and I still have another half of the bag that I need to add in. Because your greens are going to shrink. So just like spinach, greens will shrink, but not as much as spinach shrinks. Next. 
So some people like to use water. I prefer the chicken stock. And the reason that I prefer chicken stock, that chicken flavor, chicken stock gives, it adds the flavor to your greens. Water doesn't really do anything, but if you cook it in chicken stock, I promise you, your greens are gonna taste so good. And I'm gonna add in this whole container of chicken stock. The entire thing. With my greens, I like for the flavoring. You can see exactly where the chicken stock is. These to taste. And then I'm gonna add in my pepper. Just wanna make sure you seasoning your food. I'm gonna do some slap your mama. The chicken bouillon. Now with the crushed red pepper, you want to go easy because you don't want your um you don't want your greens to be like super duper spicy, but you do want that flavor to it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of crushed red peppers. And then I'm gonna go in with my complete seasoning. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stir that around just to get everything in there. And it smells so good, y'all. Look at all of that. Okay. So now I'm going to add in my sugar. Now you can do like a fourth a cup of sugar or whatever, just depending on, I guess your sugar really just depends on how much greens you're making. Now, when I made them the first time for my family back home, it's a lot of us. So I did like a fourth of a cup of sugar or whatever, you know, just, Add it in to taste. But since I'm not making that much of a batch, I'm not going to add too, too much. I'm not going to go crazy on it. Because normally I do like two bags, but I barely even have a whole bag in this one. So I'm not going to do too much. And then I'm going to add in just like a little hint of vinegar. Vinegar is going to give it that twang that you want. So I'm just adding a little... A little hint of vinegar. And I'm gonna stir it all around. I'm gonna let y'all see. Now you can see how, oh my goodness. So I could go ahead and add some more greens to the pot, but I want y'all to see the meat. Look at how beautiful that looks. The meat and the onions and the greens all coming together. So now that it's going down some, I am gonna add in some more greens. And then I'm just gonna let it simmer down some and then I'm gonna come back to you guys after it's simmered. Okay, so I have the whole bag of greens in now and I just want y'all to see how it looks with the um, meat and the onions. So now I'm gonna let it boil down. Oh my gosh. I just want y'all to look at that. And the flavor from the broth is gonna go into the greens and it's gonna be so good. Okay guys, be back.